thank you for choosing the Bacchanal Buffet. Oh, thank you. Dennis, what do you have there? Some of the best rum raisins that I've had in some time. Spent an amazing day in Vegas exploring during the day. And now, returning to the hotel, the sun has gone down. And I think that means it's time for dinner. And I can't wait to try out I think what I consider one of the best buffets, if not the best buffet in Vegas many years ago, and I can't wait to see how it is now. And that's the Bacchanal Buffet right in Caesar's Palace, right downstairs. And I've been watching Bill and Lisa, who just recently went to the Bacchanal Buffet a few weeks ago. So I can't wait to give the buffet a try and see how it is now. Hopefully it won't disappoint. And thank you so much for joining and really appreciate all the comments about my regular diet. Uh, I need to reassure everyone that what you see on the videos is not what I eat on a daily basis. Uh, in fact, uh, at home, I use HelloFresh, which makes amazing meals all delivered to your door so that you can cook them. And uh, I've been using them for a while and really grateful because HelloFresh has reached out and is sponsoring this video. So in my regular day where work is really hectic, it's really nice to have a week's worth of pre-portioned meals delivered to your door. All you have to do is pick it up, unpack, and you have amazing meals for the rest of the week, all portion controlled and all really tasty. And because everything is pre-portioned, it's really simple to prepare and really simple to cook. Those recipe cards makes it really simple. A little bit of prep, a little bit of cooking, and enjoy. And because everything is pre-portioned, there's no food waste. You use only what you need, from the veggies, to the proteins, to the tablespoon or two of sauces. No more big jar of mayonnaise when you don't need it. Plus the meals are delicious. So it's nice to have a variety of meals to choose from and you can pick and choose on their website. So whether you're looking for veggie options or a low carb option or a pescatarian or calorie wise choices, uh, their website has so many things to choose from and it's always exciting getting to pick and choose your meal or have them pick for you. And for me at home, the pre-portion meals are fantastic because I can control my portion size without any hassle. And if you have any goals or resolutions for the year, uh, go with the fit and wholesome recipes that are either low in carb or low in calories, you can indulge in amazing food without any worries. So give it a try. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code TIMLEE16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And that's HelloFresh.com and the code is TIMLEE16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And with all this talk of delicious food, I'm getting hungry and I hope you're getting hungry. I can't wait to check out the buffet, which happens to be right downstairs. Uh, come on, uh, let's go eat. One of the nice things about staying at Caesar's Palace is that the buffet is right downstairs. I can't wait. And it looks like there's a little bit of a line. We made it through in record time and now it's time to pay. All right, so I have my ticket and I'm off to line number three. While we're waiting, I can see all the seafood and all the folks there. That looks so good. I heard they renovated somewhat through the years and uh, I wonder what's changed. Has it gone better? Has it got worse? Uh, I think there's only one way to find out and uh, I think we're about to get our table. Oh, thank you. Oh, all right. We're following Farah and I think someone's doing the same thing. Oh, hey Farah, it's so nice to be back. Thank you so much for this wonderful table. Enjoy the dinner. Oh, thank, thank you. For coming. It looks beautiful. Thank you for choosing the Bacchanal Buffet. Oh, thank you. This is my table here, and thanks to Farah for this wonderful table. And uh, it's quite empty at the moment, but that's going to be filled pretty shortly. 
And uh, let me show you the uh, Bacchanal Buffet. It actually looks kind of the same. This is kind of the main buffet area. And when we were out there, uh, we saw all the seafood over there. And I think this is all the hot food station. There's a pillar in the way. And it's pretty cool because coming in, I know we're right in the proximity of the buffet station. Right back there is a section that I actually missed before. Lots of great Asian food and Mediterranean food. So I can't wait to get started. Oh, and I see Robert coming. Hello, YouTubers. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. Can I get a nice uh, buttery Chardonnay? Absolutely. So fantastic folks here and just wonderful people. I think uh, I'm not going to wait for that Chardonnay. Uh, I think we're just going to get started. Uh, let's check this out. All right, so this is pretty cool. I don't feel so awkward because other people are doing the same thing with uh, a lot uh, larger equipment. Well, I think let's start with the seafood. So we'll grab our plate here. Oh, look at this. We got some nice crab. Hi, Jose. Hi, how are you, sir? Oh, wonderful. So glad to be back. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's too much. Oh, thank you, though. All right. Thank you very much, Thanks, Jose. Okay, they're certainly very generous here. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got barbecue oysters, grilled octopus, and oh, wonderful salmon. I think we've got to go for one of these. All right, so this is pretty cool. Two dishes in, and my plate's already full. Oh, my goodness. A spicy crawfish boil. Those are blue crab. Really nice. Kind of nice to see all the hardworking folks at the back there. And uh, we round the corner. Let's see. Okay. So we have some mussels. I think uh, we're still missing something here. Some clams. Oh, wonderful shrimp. Grab a few. You can get the hot ones over there too. What is this? Oh, Jonah crab. Oh, may I grab one? All right. Here. And then uh, we've got some cold crab. And oh my goodness. We have lobster now. Let's see. Some conch. And oh my goodness. Cajun poached shrimp. These look really nice. All right, so first station in, and uh, buffet looks not only the same, it looks better. I don't recall they have lobster before, but this is quite nice. And uh, oh, let's take a look at the hot food. Hey, <laughs> plate number two with my many arms. Oh, and this is a Latin American station, let me show you. Oh, some taco al pastor. I think this is a, a chipotle crema. With some seafood. Not sure, never tried this before, but one way to find out how good it tastes. I think we'll need to make some more room. Oh, some carne asada. And I think the only way to do it is to remove the little plates. Some quesadilla and a round uh, grill. Some more Latin American food. Wonderful birria. Oh, some beans, we fried beans, churros, maybe later. Oh, some yellow rice. Oh, and some pork stew. Oh my goodness. Thank you for keeping this so well stocked up. Let's try, oh, let's give this one a try. Thank you. Oh, and moving on, I see something that's really delicious here. Hey, Miguel. Nice to see you. Oh, well, it's been three years. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wonderful turkey. And those are wings and chicken. Uh, let's see. Can I get a little bit of uh, a very, very small amount of chicken? Yeah. Oh, that would be perfect. Thank you. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, what is this? A foie gras? A foie gras cognac cream? Oh, let's go for some of that. Sure. Thank you. 
And next, uh, some roasted veg, some uh, weird and wonderful and colorful cauliflower. Sorry, broccoli and cauliflower. And then uh, some carrots, horseradish potatoes, and this is the salad station. And things are looking up and up and up. Look at this, lots of meats. Let me show you. That is a wonderful station with flames and lots of hot meats. Oh, and down the line, so much, uh, so much meat. So here, down to business. Some glazed crispy pork belly and bone marrow. Oh, you know, that looks good. That looks even better. As good as a lamb T-bone is, I think we're gonna skip because we have wonderful meats here. Oh, let's see, a smoked brisket this amazing piece of roast beef oh and a prime rib hey dennis <laughs> very good so many meats here uh can i go for a little bit of prime rib and a fatty cut if you have it thank you okay we have some moju peppercorn sauce let's go for it hey how are you Oh, a little bit of sauce. Okay, and I think we have a repeat, some uh, brisket, more meats, and a ham. So moving on, look at this. All right, we've got some ribs, I think. Normally stay away from the potatoes, but they look so good. Here. Just a little bit. Oh, some green beans. The wonderful kabasa sausage. Oh, and you can't really go wrong with mac and cheese. Let's see. Maybe just a little bit here. Next to the potatoes. Some chicken wings. And this is actually rice from cauliflower and broccoli. Oh, this is crazy. It gets better. Lobster bisque. Now, unfortunately, there is no room. We'll make some, and then wonderful fries, and chicken and waffles. So it's kind of nice to come back to your table with a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we've got the Chardonnay that's come. All right, cheers to you. Mm. Oh, very nice. And uh, I don't know about you, but uh, the buffet looks just as good, if not better. So uh, let me show you, and that's just one station. I can't imagine the three, the, the other three other stations to go through. Uh, so this is what we have. So we've got the oysters here, that seafood plate. I can't wait to try the shrimp or this giant prawn. Uh, we've got the roast beef and that bone marrow and that luscious looking crispy pork belly. And amazing, let me flip that around there. Uh, some ceviche and uh, lots of tacos and a chicken with a foie gras cognac sauce. Okay, so first thing I got to try is that wonderful looking oyster. Oh, look at that. Not too big. Just a perfect bite. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Oysters are a bit small, but very tasty. And that's kind of nice because you can get five, six, or eight of them. And I can't wait to dig into the bone marrow. Oh, let's take a look at this. Nice and buttery, and I think that is where it starts. And we have a nice little piece of flatbread. Oh, just right down there. You don't get a lot, but uh, what you do get is amazing flavor and nice fatty goodness. There we go. Let's give this a try. Cheers. Oh. Nice and luscious and buttery and a nice crisp cracker. Mm. What a good start. And those tacos look amazing. All right, so it's kind of nice where you have to move the chicken out of the way. Let's give that a try.
Mm. Wow. They always do really, really great tacos here. And the nice thing is the taco was contaminated with a little bit of that foie gras cognac sauce, but that just made it all the better. Mm. Mm. Very nice. There's so much to choose. It's kind of hard to figure out what to eat next, but you know what? That lobster certainly looks pretty good. So wonderful, the lobster is all cracked for you. I guess it's just a lobster claw, but that's not bad. All right, comes out perfectly. So I remember last time when I was at the Nordic Buffet, I dipped the lobster in butter and that was delicious. People commented on uh, putting butter and salt in the, in the butter, but I think I found something better. <laughs> lobster bisque. Let's give that a try. Oh. Forget the butter. Use a lobster bisque. Oh, nice, uh, with a nice cognac and uh, rich depth of flavor. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. This is just one of the many stations. So I think I'm gonna finish this up quickly and then go for uh, visit the other stations. So I'll take it back when we're done. So round one was quite something. Uh, Jose was certainly generous with the uh, crab and overly generous. So it was uh, a challenge to finish, but very tasty. So I think what was a winner was that lobster bisque as the dipping sauce. I tried the, uh, the prawn and the Jonah crab claw. A little bit of butter was good, but in the lobster bisque was even better. Uh, fantastic. So I think uh, it's time to go for round two. Uh, and then many, many other rounds. So let's go into that lit little room there that's always missed, and uh, let's see what they have. Hey there. So we're through with that section, and now let's go through into this little room here, through that little hallway. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. How are you liking it? I love it. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so great people here, and this is the... Uh, uh, other station here. I think I'm gonna go small this time because uh, gosh uh, again Jose and the generosity that was a bit much uh, but then in a nice way. So let me grab a plate and uh, let's see what they have. Ooh, the Asian section let me show you. It's a wonderful barbecue pork and some chicken and ooh very nice shrimp right at the back. Knock it around there. Some fried rice. And these are blue crab, which I had for the first time in New York. Oh, wonderful broccoli, some Chinese broccoli, clams, and I can't say no to a nice spring roll there. And some sesame balls, we call them grease balls. And uh, these look wonderful. I'm not sure what's inside, but one way to find out. Oh, and some dim sum. Let's see. Oh, some uh, XLB. More XLB. Let's see. Oh, shrimp dumpling. More shrimp dumpling. And I betcha we'll get some xiao mai. Oh, there we go. Oh. I think these are hot dogs. So these are really narrow and uh, I'm almost dropping my camera in the buffet, which isn't very good. This is my favorite, chapche, some potato noodles. Nice and uh, luscious and a uh, little bit oily, which is always good. Let's see, we've got some ribs that look a little bit dry. You're doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm looking at the top. How are you? Very good. What's your favorite? So far, my favorite is the Calbee shortbread. So Janessa was saying that these would be okay. And then some uh, KFC, Korean fried chicken, and some uh, rice cakes. All right, let's see what else they have. Some nice veggies. These are actually pretty good here. These are shishito peppers. 
pride, I hope. Oh, now we're talking wonderful cups of goodness. Some octopus. And this is a tuna pokey. And some creamy salmon poke. Let's go for one of these. So it's kind of neat. You don't realize how narrow this is. And we have some more sushi here. Crunchy roll. Some shrimp. And this, I can never imagine getting one of this at a buffet. It's a rice ball. I think there's some plums inside and some pressed sushi. Oh, and one of my favorite cuisines of all time, Filipino cuisine. Wonderful pork skewer. And I can see one with a big hunk of fat there. Lovely. And some adobo chicken. And oh, a lechon, a whole roasted pig. And there's a wonderful looking beast. And a little bit of skin and a little bit of sweet and tangy sauce for this. And a wonderful noodle station, but I'm going to skip that. Oh, really nice salads. So something better is coming up. Little plates of goodies. This is almost like a uh, lumpia with hearts of palm. And instead of the wrapper, it's lettuce. This is not avocado toast, which I thought it was. This is pea toast. Oh, and my friend Lois's favorite, tartar of tomato. Sorry, Lois, it's not me. And this looks really good. A uh, gazpacho of carrot. So the breads look really good, but uh, it's only for looking, not touching or eating. Oh, I think I should have started with this. Some nice charcuterie board. Some nice cheeses. Oh, more salads. I think we've entered into Mediterranean. I think I'm going to go for a little bit of tubuli. It's always refreshing. Right next to the Asian spring roll. And more good stuff here. The labnas. And we have some falafel. And of course, the hummus. But better than hummus is the baba ganoush. So next we come to Italy. The Italian station. Oh, bucconcini and a caprese salad. A mortadella pizza. Really nice pizza, but really thick crust. I think I will pass on these, although they look really good. Meatballs. I think that will have to go for one. And I think we will take a nice saucy, cheesy meatball. I guess it's next to the baba ganoush. And this is cool. So they're making their own pastas here, made to order. And if you don't want to wait, we've got the cheese tortellini. Oh, a shashuka. Nice cannelli beans. Okay. So beautiful fish. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Oh. And then polenta, nice. A little bit more. Okay, I'll be careful. All right, and then uh, pita bread. All right, perfect. Let's go for one of these. So that was a fast-paced station that we got through. Uh, lots of food around the world, and it looks pretty good. Uh, let me show you what we have. And it's kind of nice that Giovanni left the uh, lobster bisque as a dip. Really grateful for that. Uh, so we've got the uh, polenta earlier. So this was the meatball that I didn't have room for and it uh, shared the space with the uh, eggplant dip. And then the fish. And then over here is uh, our wonderful pita uh, over there. And uh, lots of nice dishes, the gazpacho and the uh, Filipino food, the potato noodles and the egg roll. Oh, I think we gotta try that uh, lechon skin or that crispy pig skin. I don't think that's gonna wait. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, get that in our sauce. Mm. It's a chewy crunch. I think it's been out for a little bit, but that's still okay. Mm. All right. I think the skewer 
looks magnificent. We gotta give that a try. Mm. Okay. Nice and tender. Mm. A little bit of tanginess and uh, charred and uh, a little bit of fattiness, which is very good. Mm. And I've been really dying to see what's in that uh, fried little packet of goodness. And let's, uh, let's find out. All right. So this is the authentic uh, Asian delicacy known as uh, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese wonton. Mm. A really nice take on the wonton, but certainly not authentic. But still very good. And um, I think the um, polenta looks really good. Oh wow, look at that. Nice and crispy on the outside and just creamy on the inside. Oh, a little bit of root vegetables okay, and some marinara. Oh, heavenly, delicious. That polenta is wonderfully soft and creamy on the inside and crispy on the outside. And a little bit of sauce really makes it nice, really makes it nice and luscious. Oh, very good. One of the favorite, the baba ganoush. And I think we need to combine these things. So we'll take the chicken pita. Oh, lovely there. With the wonderful baba ganoush. Pop it all up. For a perfect bite. Mm. Very good. So again, we'll finish this off and uh, Take it back for some more. I don't think <clears throat> I can go for more of the meats or the seafood, but uh, we'll see. Cheers. Mm. Very good. So that was a really nice, pleasant second round. One of the biggest surprises was that carrot gazpacho. Really nice and coconutty and creamy and a fantastic little bit of spice at the end. And you know, that Korean short rib, that was actually really tender, not dry at all. So pleasantly surprised. And oh, let's see, my neighbor has something there. Hey Dennis, what do you have there? How come it was it and where did it go? Rum rice and gelato. And some of the best rum rice and uh, ice cream that I've had in some time. Would you recommend? I'd all right, thank you. Great folks there, and uh, I think with that, we need to go for dessert. Oh, this looks like, uh, brings back really good memories. We just need to look for the plates. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get started. So the beginnings of a crepe station. Oh, confetti cupcake. Red velvet cake. That does look good. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I gotta go for one of these. They look good. Caramel apple and a fudge brownie. Now by itself, I don't know. And rounding the corner, we have, oh, look at these. Peanut butter mousse oh that's looking pretty good this row of sweets hard to resist so very really quickly blueberry cheesecake a s'mores tart this one i'm actually gonna pass oh but who can say no to a tiramisu and a creme brulee and a banana cream pie and a vegan strawberry sandwich so i haven't made it a quarter through and my plate's already full but let's see Oh, we have some nice ice cream and Dennis highly recommended the rum raisin. So let's give that a try. 
<laughs> hey, Steve-o, how are you? What's up, man? How are oh, we doing? Oh, very good. Uh, much better now with the ice cream. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, my neighbor, our friend uh, Dennis, was saying uh, rum raisin is really good. Can uh, I go for one tasty, of those? Very tasty. My, my one, two go-getter is this guy right here. So I'm gonna hold, go ahead and hook you up with some of this rum raisin. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't see, too sure if it has rum in it. Or if it does, but if it does, you let me know. All right, will do. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, really good folks here. Oh, and we have toppings. So we have the sprinkles, the Reese's, but I think these little chocolate things look really good. You know, Dennis, if this is wrong, my apologies. It's only to one side though. Oh, beignets. Hopefully there's a cup of coffee with these beignets. How about right over here? These are the egg tarts, which I had at Jasmine, which looks really good. Oh, cinnamon buns, nice chocolate lava cake, and a pineapple upside down cake. There's so much more I want to get, but so little room. These are the sugar-free desserts. So we've got the uh, cheesecake. Ooh, chocolate mousse. Good choice. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's see. Look at these. A wonderful panna cotta or yogurt oh and this is something i need to go for a uh, ube chiffon cake nice filipino inspiration but right over here coconut cream cake and a uh, mango cremeau let's go for one of these i know so this is getting scarily full okay this i need to get Hey there. I am. I'm, I'm eating as well. You're going to be full for the next month. I think <laughs> that's half the fun. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Really good folks here. Uh, okay, so let's see. These are the 24 karat lychee uh, jelly. Oh, quite jelly-like right here. This is a very delicate balancing act. And those behind there is a salted caramel mousse and just as well that they're behind there because I don't have enough room. Oh, but look at this. A wonderful dessert cone and they're wonderful because they're small. And they go right over here. All right, so here's the tough part, getting back without dropping anything. All right, so I'm so grateful to make it back to the table with all this massive dessert still intact. And even better is another surprise on the table, a nice cup of hot coffee. Oh, I can use a cup of coffee. That was a lot of work. Oh, but good work. So the 24 karat lychee gelée, off to the one side, the ube chiffon cake, got to give that a try. And I think actually, ooh, we're pretty good. All right, so so many desserts, so little time. With a cup of coffee, I think we need to dig in to that beignet. Just feeling it's so light. Hmm. It's okay. It's a beignet, a nice fried sweet cloud, but no filling. But that's okay, because there's more. Mm. So before it melts, I need to go with a suggestion from Dennis. The rum raisin is in here. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Always have a glass of water nearby in case of that dreaded ice cream headache, but no need. Oh, that gelato is so soft, like a nice custard. And you get a little bit of pop from the raisins. Mm. Dennis, thank you for that great suggestion. That ube chiffon cake looks very good. Let's give that a try. Oh, oh. I'm not sure if it's a cake or cream. Look at that. Oh, ah. So there's a little bit of cake at the bottom and uh, a wonderful cream on top. Oh. 
ube is fantastic because already it's so floral and uh, really light. But now you have the ube cake, soft and spongy, and the cream. It just makes it over the top. Oh, very good. This is some fantastic. I think I gotta try the tiramisu next. A little bit here. Oh. And with that, the buffet is complete and perfect. So, this is the Bacchanal buffet, kind of the first buffet, the first real regular buffet I've been to after three years or so. And uh, I must say, they've renovated and I was skeptical, but it's back and it's good and I think it's even better. Uh, lots of people still, but uh, great lobster and more importantly, great people. Uh, fantastic folks like Robert and uh, Giovanni who's uh, tirelessly cleaning the tables and uh, leaving the lobster bisque, which is really appreciative. Get the lobster bisque. That was so luscious. So I hope you get to check out the uh, Bacchanal Buffet. And uh, this is a lot of food. And I certainly don't eat like this every day. Uh, HelloFresh certainly helps me keep the portions uh, in check and also eat well. And uh, thank you to them again for sponsoring this video. And uh, give it a try. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com and use code TIMLEE16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Uh, hope you give it a try and uh, it really helped me out and when friends aren't feeling well, I'll send them a package as well. So with that, um, this is Vegas and uh, pretty happy, pretty excited. Feels like normal and uh, really grateful that you can join. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're eating well. Uh, take care and God bless. Cheers. Mm. Very good.